Hendrick also represented by Booth Cook. Now they're all in. The field of 12 locked and loaded, the red light turned on. They set for race two. Stand by for a break. Racing. Jump to the good light. They rumble showing early speed. Alpha Lily's going forward with Winston Spur Filler. You're too good not far away. Bob's in the on the scene. Even Wider was wanting to free fall. The favourite needs to find a spot early. He's exposed. And Boothcourt near the rails. So they'll sort themselves out. Quackery midfield, followed by the Cullen. A few weeks away, pre painted than Miss Tambo. And Bundy and Coke two off last. Down the side. Bob's in the bolted away as they went towards the 800. Then you're too good second. They rumble takes cover. Then up at the box seat third. And Wallinga free fall is travelling in fourth. I think it's got him on off the fence. Then Boothcourt lying fifth around inside of Alpha Lily. All by Winston Spurfield, McCullough, Quackery. There's Campbell a long way off them, then pre-painted. And Bundy and Cave whips them in. Around the turn now, 450 left to Rana. Bond's in the straightens in front. From Bay Rumble, getting off the rail and challenge the leader. And put your two good out three wide, then Boom Corner. Follow by Willinga free for the Cullinan. Starts a run on fairly. Miss Tambo making only steady ground to the inside. Bay Rumble the leader. Willinga free for the outside is now posing a strong danger. 100 left to run. And Willinga free for got the better of Bay Rumble. Then came the Cullinan. But to the favourite, Willinga free for came away and won well. Beat Bay Rumble, the Cullinan third. Then came Winston Spurbill. Miss Tambo made only steady ground. Then came at the heavy arms pre potent followed by Alpha Lily, Bonzilla, Quackery, Boom Court, Bundy and Cape, and You're Too Good last over the line. It was a pretty comfortable watch, wasn't it, if you were involved in uh, Willinga Free Fall, got there very easily on the line. Yeah, it just had the lovely run in the race, got into a lovely position, presented at the right time, and I felt like the other favourite, Miss Tambo, got a bit too far out of its ground. It was always going to be a tall task, sort of made ground steadily. Watch out for it when it draws a better gait in a similar style of race, and I both thought Bo Rumble had all the favours to run a good race and ran absolutely at, it, at, at its peak. So, um, loving how the track's playing. They're getting a little bit off the fence, but you're still seeing horses make up ground either side of them. You sure are. Four, one, five and three. Your numbers at uh, Eagle Farm in race number two of the afternoon. Well, let's get you back to uh, Ballarat for the fourth. And just uh, a note around a number of scratchings throughout the program that uh, significantly in this fourth, the two, the three, the seven and the eight all out for race.